Over the next two weeks, I'm going to show you how to take a wine barrel and uh, show you how you can bring it to this. We're going to do some bottle caps on top. We're going to put it under um, an epoxy resin. But I wanted to show you the first task you have to do is you have to get these metallic rings shining as much as you can. And this is one type of ring which is probably the highest quality you're going to run into. I'm going to show you one of the challenges. One of the challenges is bubbles in the resin. And I'm not happy about that, but I can tell you that it was much worse before it got to this stage. This one isn't too bad. Um, but when you have bubbles, when you have caps, you have air trapped inside the cap. And that air will come up. You can get rid of some of them initially with heat, and I'll show you that. Um, but there are bubbles that are going to come up after the top layer has started to harden. And I'm going to show you how you can get rid of those when we get to that stage and try to finish with as uh, nice a project as possible. Now I'm going to show you the other two types of, of barrel rings that you might encounter. This is sort of a galvanized look type of, of ring. And you can see that I've taken a little bit of um, polishing to this one. And that's probably what it's going to look like. Um, can't say, I'll put more time into it later, but this is the one that I'm working on right now. And this is uh, where you get some black um, barrel rings. And you don't want to get them down to the silver. You want to try to preserve the black. The studs here will usually be um, a chrome type, stainless steel. But you're going to want to get rid of all of this, which is fairly easy. And what you need is one of these, without a doubt. Don't even try to do this without a face mask. It's better than goggles because eventually these little things are going to wear down and little pieces are going to fly off and hit you in the face. But that's the first tool that you want to use. Um, there's another that you can use, which is uh, this guy right here. But I find this one is good for helping to get some of this black out but this one is best um, for the rings. And I recommend a wired one because a battery operated one just isn't going to give you the torque that you need because you have to apply a little bit of um, elbow grease into this uh, um, grinding as you go along. So that's our first step. And we're going to get all of these done. And then we're gonna to proceed to do the, uh, the wood and get rid of the black on the sides.